said, first to be hit it back with nobody else. I am the guinea pig right here. You can see the smoke coming out of your way. You see the smoke right there coming out right there. Right here, right here. here we go. Take a good breath. It's like somebody giving you a shot there. That's what they're right, saying. Right. right here, somebody else like, nigga, you, you done all the flies out. <laughs> see, I'm not a weed head, but I do got to get up at 5 in the morning to get my son from work. See, that's where my red comes in. Uh, I'm on three different drugs now. Just <laughs> my shit, shot, shot, from his shit. Juan, you asked me how I got my name walking. Yes, sir. Uh, before we go, uh, shout out your, uh, your company, how they get in touch with you for the parties and you know what I'm saying? Our company is Solution Man Date Consultant S for Date, M for Med, B for Date, C for Consultant, dot store. Okay. You can go there to see the store or call the number there. And uh, we, we do those parties. What we do, we'll come in with a few eyes. Because sometimes people say, well, I don't want to buy that. I just want to have a party. What can you do for me to have a party in DC? You know? You're going beyond means, like, to whatever make happen if you can. We make it happen. So when you say a party, I'm thinking of a kid's birthday, and I want this to put that big old gigantic no, we, 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 we do this. with a small hole in it. We make it happen. We make, we, we make it happen. But the way I got my name, the walking man, was I, uh, like I told you, I was in bad health. And I couldn't walk uh, across the room for real. Well, it, I'm sorry, but cover that up. That's not going to affect that. Like if you cover that up, it's not let the smoke come out. You can hold that on your end as long as it won't back up or nothing. And all you're doing is just making sure that, you know, you don't waste your little bill. Uh, you know, you can get it. When you hit it, you know. It's one of the things you can hit it when you want to hit it and don't have So the longer you hold it down, would it be a stronger shoot of power that come out? No, it's the same. You know, 400, 440 degrees, yeah. whatever's going to come out, is going to come out 440 mm -hmm. degrees. The June out is only 360, wasn't it? <laughs> the June out is 400. But when you, but when you do release it the first time, time, you can tell that it's going to shoot out a little bit more. <coughs> when right. to it. It's like, like you said, a shotgun. First and even if you don't do the hemp, let's say you wanted to do, you know what I'm saying, your flop. So love the flop? Yeah, I mean, like, if I wanted to say, okay, I don't have any hemp, but I got this right here, you know what I'm saying, Am I, can I put this in here? Yes, sir. You can? Yes, sir. Okay. That's, I, I go to the store and get that. And I so, <laughs> let's, let's, let's get the other thing. Okay, we can wait, we can wait. Okay, the walk But let me tell you about the walk man. When, when I first met Juan, <coughs> Juan came up to me and I was like, he made me laugh because he was high. <laughs> yeah, I was there. <laughs> and, and, and he made me laugh because uh, he stopped at our, our table and he asked me about the, the different things. And, and he said, uh, man, that's awful high price. I said, but we get a 20% discount for uh, veterans and senior citizens. He said, I'm a veteran. I'm sure his wife looked at him. He's a little legal. I see you got a black old business man. I'm the type of person, if you can make me laugh, because it was hard to make me laugh, obviously. You know, you gotta be a pretty funny person to make me laugh. You know what's funny about that story? And then I was there and then when they told me the story, like I, I wasn't there at all. Like, yeah, all right, you were. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. right there the last day. But Paul, Paul was just sitting in the corner, like he looking. was just there, looking at everything. Oh, when he was just checking changing, everything like, out. He was just talking about the video. Paul was checking I everything out. Like, because whatever I wanted to know, he had already asked. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, so this is your wife. This is your wife right here. You know, let me take a picture of y'all right there. Right now. Beautiful <laughs> wife. Look, we bond. But but he came to me and he said that, you know, and it made me laugh because a lot of people, you know, they be kind of like standoffish when it comes to these type of items. You know what I mean? They be like, well, you can't do weed or you can't do that. You can't. I, I love the Lord. I don't know what nobody's talking about for real. Mm -hmm. I don't think nobody can love him as much as I do. But of course, I'm partial. And, but, and that, that, I'm also, partial. that also comes across, I can, I can feel I, that energy, you know what I'm saying, before you even say any of that. You but also, that, that, you know what I'm saying, like when you study religion, you know what I'm saying, that, that right there, your sin is 
what happens after you do something. You can drink, ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Okay. But if you get drunk, whatever sin that happens after that, that's the hell you got to live That's in. what you got to live You know what I'm saying? And then sometimes it's just a one day, I was throwing up, and oh my God, I don't ever do That's the hell you put yourself <laughs> in, you know what I'm saying? So if you don't drink, you know what I'm saying, that's not a sin, you know, and that won't happen to you if you don't get drunk. That's the same as weed, you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. You know, if, if I smoke weed, you can take my ass to sleep, you know what I'm saying? I didn't harm myself. You know, there's no hell that I'm paying afterwards. I, I have people tell me that I'm just not doing it the right way. And said, if you listen to what God said God in said, Genesis, God said, he said it was good for food in, in Genesis uh, 1, 11, and 12. Well, I, I just take one of the steps and I move it. I bake it. I, I taste the baking. And then I eat it. And it's medical, lady. Like, yes. what are you talking about from eating? Like, this is for my health. I had cancer. You know, it go that way. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I would tell people. How you gonna put food over my health? This is medical. I didn't. You know what I'm saying? This ain't recreation. It's real shit. No. Sometimes. Oh sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Not most of the times. <laughs> Not on Friday after work. I'm gonna take my medicine, but let me take my medicine first. Hey. I can't help it if my medicine make me feel good. Yeah, right. For real, I can't help it. They were trying, to, they were trying yeah. to give you some bullshit to make you feel good. Right, better. right, to make you feel worse. Yeah, you can't they're going to set your yeah. house on fire, they're going to make you late for work, or they're make you irresponsible. They might make you late for work. They might tell you, I was baking a cake the other day. You can tell you, Larry, I was just so high. It was some Jativa. Uh, it was some Jativa that's right here, you know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, after the commercial go off, I'm going to check on that cake. And then the fire alarm, when that commercial go off, then I'm going to turn that fire alarm off and open the door and say, okay, when that fire go off, you know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't going to do that to me, is it? No. Okay. Uh-uh. All right. I didn't give you the tea. Good. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, he, he asked me, um, how did I get my man a walking, my name a walking man? And the way I got my name was, I couldn't walk before, then I started walking. Every day I'd walk. I'd walk. I, I first started walking just to the end of the street. You know, back and forth, back and forth. Because my legs and stuff, I was in such bad shape. But I was determined to walk to downtown Columbus from the east side. And I walked all the way to Lily from my house, which is on this side of town, which is actually. From my house to James Road is a mile. And so I started walking a mile. Well, on my walk, I would see, we don't have ladies of the night on our street. We have ladies of the day. These ladies stroll during the day. Two days, right? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Hey, we got a lady. I'm going to tell you it's something. It's the home <laughs> hey, look, we would, I'd be walking. Be out there, you know, not speak and talk to me. <laughs> you know, hey, everybody, you know. I think you're out. I was just glad I could walk. Yeah, I was right. glad I could be out there. And get to see titties. <laughs> not that far. Not that far. <laughs> not that far. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, I, I was walking down the street one day and not too far on Main Street, there's a, a Planned Parenthood yeah. place. Right there. And there was this guy out there and he was had a thing up and he said, you know, the guy the, there was a guy at Planned Parenthood waved at me because I walked by every day and I waved at everybody. And so I waved at him. This guy came up, you know what's going on in there? I said, No. I said, because I've never been in there. He said, Well, they're, they're doing bad things in there, and they're giving the horses and all this. I said, you ever been in there? I said, how do you know? He said, I said, you ever been in there? He said, no. I said, well, how, how do you know? He said, because they told me. And just like you're telling me, and I'm supposed to believe you, some guy on the street with a sign. I'm not really believe you. That's half the world. <laughs> yeah. I'm it's half the world of other body, somebody else's information ain't get a check. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, true check, go back that, around. Nah, and around. You know what I mean? So, I, I don't doubt anybody for what they want to do, or what their cause is, or what they think is right, or what they think is wrong, you know, because my God is my God, and whoever God they want to serve is theirs. Because when we get to talking, this guy says, Well, 
you should know what's going on in there. And then he says uh, that if I was not a uh, Catholic, I was going to hell. Hmm. I said, well, I've got to be a Catholic. He said, yeah. I said, well, Jesus wasn't a Catholic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, he just got and so when I was talking to him, some of the ladies of the day strolled by and said, give it to him, walk your man, you give it to him. And I'm like, uh, I didn't, I'm not, I, I don't want to be in all this. $10 for some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need it right now. I gave him that name. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, I, I do walk every day, and they do see me, and I do talk to everybody. Right. Well, you, know, like, you say you walk here? Pardon? You say you walk here? No, I okay. was going to make me. Oh, you okay. I told my, I told his mom. So you know him for oh, that? He, no, he was going to put you out there. You was walking home. That's what he said. Yeah, he did. He did say that. <laughs> oh, my bad, bro. He did say that. No, he did say that. Right, right. I walked in the whole All that stuff. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 you know, they were saying, walking man. I said, yeah, I'll call myself the walk, a walking man from now on. Where are you, you know, going? Nowhere. Uh, nowhere. I'm walking. I'm actually walking to my destiny. For real. I'm walking. Smelling uh, flowers. Uh, well, sometimes. Did you remember? It depends on what flower. It depends on what flower it is. Yeah. Yeah. Dear president. I don't mind smelling the flower too. Majority of the I don't mind, seriously. It'll make you feel good. <laughs> you you <laughs> the flower, 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 flower. <laughs> but but I had set in my mind because I was told to walk to downtown and back, and I had gotten as far as before uh, all this stuff happened. I had gotten as far as Lily and back. Uh, downtown and back was five miles. Mm -hmm. Uh, to James Road is a mile from James Road to my house and back. But that's how I got the name Walking Man. So, brother, did you uh, did you give up on? No, I'm, I'll never give up on my destiny. Okay. I'm a oh, yeah, so we're going to get there, yeah. though, right? I'm going to get there. Are you dressed for it or you just, just put on some jeans or are you just really on the back? Walking shoes and all that. A walking man walk with them. You remember them shoes you were talking about? The, the sandals, what did somebody call uh, them? Yeah. Dusty sandals? Yeah. They're on my feet right now. Bro. They're the old dusty raggedy sandals that I've had for 20 years. They look comfortable. They are. I walk in them. Okay. I'm a walking man. I'm walking to my destiny. I just don't, I don't want to give up because I think that if I give up on life, life will give up on me. And so I'm not giving up. I feel positivity coming from. I'm telling you, I'm trying to walk in the room like it, the whole energy was real. I tried, I tried to, no matter where I go, to bring positive energy to everybody I see. I enjoy myself because if I don't enjoy myself where I'm at, right? I'm a crazy, I'm a crazy man for real, seriously. So no, in my 69 years doing all the things that I've done, which is a multitude of things, some I, I'm very, very proud of, and some I'm not so mm -hmm. proud of. Yeah. I've learned to enjoy every single day because it's not promised. And that, I think you just answered the next question I wanted to ask you. I was going to ask you um, through all the things you've been through, that experienced this, um, to this point, mm -hmm. what would you tell anybody like the number one thing you Give them, but that seemed like that would be the the thing to give them right there. Yeah, let's drop some jewels on this, bro. The number one thing that I would give to most people is don't judge somebody unless you walked in their own shoes. Don't judge anybody unless you understand where they're coming from. Don't judge nobody unless you judge yourself first. And you can always find something bad in yourself. Absolutely. You can Definitely. always find the bad in yourself. It's the good that you're looking for in everybody. Because we all have good in us. Right. That's a 
good where I'm from. Definitely. I think it's pretty weird to like know where somebody is being and you look down on them anyway. And, like, they got roaches. Bitch, you got roaches. Right. Act like you ain't grow right. up with them up or right. like cereal or, and shit or, like that. Or to tell somebody, oh, you smoke weed. You you take ambience, you take opiates, you take all kinds of stuff. And not one of those things, not one of them. Came from God. Bottom line. Mm -hmm. Jewel. Bottom line. I see a lot of people say whatever they want about me. I honestly don't care no more. I would if I, I really don't. don't. To blame the pharmaceutical companies because when they put this together, you know what I'm saying, they knew, ooh, this is highly addictive. You know what I'm saying? So let me present it to these hospitals. But that's what, if I pay you enough money, shh, don't hear this out. You know what I'm saying? This is between us. You know what I'm saying? So, and then so you got the people the lower down that didn't get no money, they don't even know this. Is that they prescribing it to you, but they don't know it's highly addictive because the higher ups ain't telling them. No, they ain't always getting a little kickback from the Okay. Not everybody, not the little one, not the little tiny person that's taking your temperature and all that. You know, doctor will come and see you in the morning. Not that person right there. And then that nurse, that nurse is actually putting it into you. The doctor just told her to do that. The nurse really don't know nothing. They know how many out of ten motherfuckers might have an overdose or. But I got a brother that's brother that's named Scott, and I am writing the book, and it's come out of souls we done with. To tell my whole story because Scott, you know, there's quite a few people that tell me, "Oh man, you got you got a story, man." I've yeah. done a lot of stuff. I've done a lot of movie things. I've done a lot of things. I've been a lot of places. I've been with a lot of people. I did, like I tell y'all, I did things that I'm proud of, and some things I'm not so proud of. But the things that I'm very proud of, and some of the things I wasn't so proud of doing, I'm gonna put in that book. All right. Because I. I, I I've lived my life and I don't regret the way I lived after I found out who I was. Well that you can't even like you said, like if that's if you can live like that and be comfortable, mind, sound body and and walk as you say your path, like right? because we all are on our own paths. Sure. And that's to see somebody manifesting it. Cause it get the the rat race get crazy sometimes, you know right. what I'm saying? And you be trying to spend all your time trying to make sure you do this, do that. But like to to see somebody, cause like I said, your energy, you know, made me feel a little better today. Like you know, that's what's up. It's too many people that uh, mimic society. Like you don't even know who your personality is. You don't know who you are. You're not comfortable. With being who you are because you're so busy trying to give society what they think they say. You ain't hard. Right. You know, ain't nothing about you right. hard. And then you know, pimp or nothing like that right there. I got bitch. Right. I don't care. She broke up with me. I bust people out with shit. I'm like, I bet if I go through your phone right now, you done called her seven <laughs> times. She's going to take her. Babe, we're going to get some of these front. Just be you and shit. You know, there's so many people. When you are comfortable being yourself, you see that in other people that's comfortable with it, they awkward, they, you know, some something's a little different about them and shit, but it's like a, a glow about them and shit, you know what I'm saying? Y'all dull as fuck with all the people that pretend to be somebody else and shit. Be goofy, just be goofy. You people me? accept you being yeah. goofy and shit. Oh, okay. be, yeah, be you. I well, do, every day, right there. Right right that's empathy right there. Before, though, he been acting good now. That's, that's empathy right there. Nah, I still ain't shit, so. Flotty know it, right? They go right past me, so I'm saying with you. What like, I found out. Paul what, Clark been good all day. <laughs> what I found out is I don't let negativity spend a lot of time in my head. Right. I, if you negative, you can't get no free rent up here. But sometimes that happens because like right uh -huh. now, I'm sitting here like we we're having another episode or a moment where I feel like everybody had a meeting except for me. <laughs> everybody got on black church and all that except for me. It's the second time this has happened. So let's go to negative thoughts that you know what I'm saying. What are we the temptation? And, 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 and Paul Clark. Oh, we are the three amigos. The temptation. <laughs> the days amigos. The guy that's not wearing what we're wearing. <laughs> he got some Christmas Mondays and shit. But I, 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 I'm gonna tell you guys, I really, really enjoy um, being here. Um, you guys are doing some positive things, and y'all got this adult show going on for real adults.
adults, you know, it's, it's not for children. And we should realize that we are adults. We grown amen. And, and there's grown folks out there. And, and when you do adult shows, we can do adult things and talk about adult things. Right. You see what I'm saying? As long as everybody's being respectful, we always, I, I, I watch not all of your podcasts, but I notice that you guys are respectful, but y'all like to have a good time. Y'all enjoy yourself. Y'all relax. When you're at, the first thing y'all tried to get me to do was relax. I must have been so tense. I said, sit back. I'm all over here. You're relaxing. They're giving out the relaxing. Drink this. Now drink this. Drink this. Drink this and this together. I'm like, wait a minute. I hit you from this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. But no, before we get out here, fuck all that. So you a gardener? Tell us about all that, like. Oh, the farm. Okay. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. You know, when I was coming up, you know, I come from a, a small city, said that's Ohio. Cedar okay. Point. Uh, that was another one of my questions. Cedar Point. Point. Cedar Point. Okay. But there, you know, we didn't own no farms. We, you know, we owned our, our properties that we had. And we had little gardens and whatnot. But there was a lot of farmers in our neighborhood, you know. Not in our neighborhood, neighborhood, but you could go like five minutes away, and there was farmers. And man, we go to the farmers. And forgive me, y'all, for eating the hearts out of those uh, watermelons. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> leaving them out there. So racist. <laughs> 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 and the did it again. <laughs> 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 Say this because people be saying stuff when you say that you help your family pick a big boyfriend, they well, you know, you're not gonna you just but you know, just in case. Well my son and my wife. We need to get back in there. <laughs> well my, my daughter and my You navigate, you did some you navigation you got well, as a parent it, there were daughters we could have got off. Well actually my, my son in law, if yeah, you could pick a son in law, I could I would pick him. Right damn, your hands are good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. At least you can. <laughs> you get a family in. You get a family in. Move, move, Paul. And you get a family in. You're trying to get Paul out of here. You get a family in. Yeah. You'd be surprised because our daughter always said that she never wanted children. I want she was growing up. I don't want no children. That's my old daughter. So she has. <laughs> What was there a hate? One short of a dozen. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, short God one. bless you. <laughs> let it go. Okay. And um, they decided to do farming. Mm -hmm. you know, and they had the foresight to see that you're going to need some land and you're going to need to grow some food on the land and you're going to be able to grow, you're going to have to grow for more than just you. Right. And so what they did was they bought a farm. And that's they tough. call it the family farm. Okay. That's the family farm. And there we go to relax. We go there to eat strawberries or pick grapes or cherries that's or peaches okay. or plums. Or and that, you know, um, I checked it out <clears throat> and just seemed like serene. <clears throat> so as I was checking it out, because, you know, I'm like, God, I'm strong, big ass strawberries. Yes. Just to be able to walk in that nature, and then and then I saw some. It was you and your sons, right? And you was like, yeah, they making a quick pick. Yeah. And it was the jewel. It, it was the seeds already given. You seen seeds that was dropped, and these dudes are growing in it. Like you know, what I mean, that's like shit yeah. like that is dope, crazy yeah. dope because they one went with the wheel bear, got some breaks. They was already halfway done. One came back with the wheel bear. I'm like, damn. They they build they, they working together. They build a pit because we didn't have anything to cook chicken on. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. So they took some bricks that they found out there. Lay your ticket water, brother. Why you living there, you If not a stereotype, it sure is. If that's what I think, weed, eat one meal, eat chicken, and chicken in that order. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but they built that pit, you know, and they were kind of afraid that their mom was going to come home and be afraid and tell them to tear it down after they got done with it. But our daughter came home and she says, Oh, no, that's all right. That's okay, that, that, that. Yeah, because that, that chicken was done. Yeah, you got to get that chicken done. Well, no, she had to keep waiting. People, like, no, we're taking it down. Sort of just, what this smell? 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 What but no, we do we we go out there we go out there. We go out there and get the fresh mm -hmm. eggs. So I, I never did like fresh <laughs> eggs since, until I started eating them. I really honestly couldn't I'm like, man. I'm, I'm an like, egg fanatic, man. I, I don't eat fresh, fresh fish. fish. You know what I'm saying? Like fresh milk straight from the cow. I've been in that experience right there. Like, no, never. <laughs> You're not going to do a, a roasted pig, not in my face, and say, Paul, okay, I'm not going to do that right there. So I went and said, hold on, this, this egg is warm. And yeah, spread out the cow. It's sure. yeah, chicken's ass right there. <laughs> like, and I ain't so, cracking. I'm, I'm right. Right. Like, I can't do that. Oh, uh, there's an Andrew Zimmer right there. I'm dying in a hard time giving, oh, yeah, yeah. we had that shit. I'm going to uh, die right there in the wilderness and shit. But, power, uh, um, uh, <laughs> Who, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I told my daughter. Well, then, 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 I, think, I told my daughter one time, I'm going out there and pick some eggs. She said, no, Dad, you don't pick <laughs> eggs. You gather them. I said, they're on the ground. Where do you think I'm going to pick them from? I'm going to gather them. I'm picking them. I'm picking them off the air. Go pick them and then gather them. Pick them. them. Pick them. Yeah, but it, it, it's relaxing. It's really relaxing. I, I have a, a good time. Um, they don't watch a lot of television. Good. And they don't watch a lot of, you know, there's not, not a whole bunch of screen time there, you know. Farming is a lot of work. Right. Absolutely. No matter what people say, farming is a lot of work. I ain't heard nobody say nothing else but that. When people say that like, they don't watch a lot of TV and you know, all that right there, but doesn't that make you, like, you know what I'm saying, like, unfamiliar to how society will change all around you? Once you're in a society, it's like, whoa, look at you people, what have y'all become? And you don't know that because you don't get to see them on TV or reaction. Because I know if you ain't watched TV in 20 years and just come outside in society, man, it's like, you naked. The fuck with the clothes that when you slip. This bitch ain't gonna slip on you. know what I'm saying? It would shock you, you know what I'm saying? If you can't be current. But, but that's that's also what you just got finished saying about how people all act the same and how, you know what I'm saying, how the the overall demise of our community. Yeah, everybody because everybody connected. Like, that's the plan. Like, to get everybody to connect everybody at the same time on the same level. The COVID is a uh, number one um It's like like thing of that, you know what I mean, to show that they, they got us, they got us where they need us, so they need us to be there. Yeah, because society will move whether you're there or not. Right. Well, well we're I, all together at the same time now. I tell anybody, if you, if you have a, uh, a chance to, you know, you go on a farm or your family, everybody needs a farm. Yeah, all right. I think it's everybody relaxed. has went like you know what you know what I'm saying. You're on the farm. You got the Clydesdale. You got to pick the corn. You got to you know. And I've heard right. the, the the Clydesdale got right. his eyes on his eyes, and they telling you don't don't startle the horse. Don't don't do this right here. But my brain right there, I'm gonna hit him with that thing with this corn. I got in trouble for that right there. Man. Like that horse could have kicked whatever you know, because that's why I got it right here. I don't want to see none of this. Yeah, the farm's gonna be dangerous. You got to get used to that smell too, though. With the cows and stuff, if it's that type of form. I know we're gonna wrap this up pretty soon. Yes. <laughs> and I wanna thank you guys for allowing me to this opportunity. Nah, it's our pleasure, brother. You uh, honestly did. you you making us better in a lot of ways. And like I said, since the moment I I met you that day, I'm like, man, this brother got something. 
Well, I need to get in my life. I wouldn't listen to nobody that didn't get in my life. You can't say that because you didn't smoke. You with us. We're not a part of this loop that we're going through right here. All right. Y'all too. I am. Um, Keep back here. Oh, I, I, you got to hit this. I enjoy good people. You know, and I, I found out that every, every day above ground is a good day. I have good days and I have bad days. Uh, when the most I wake me up, I get up, I don't lay in the bed. Mm -hmm. I get up, I get busy, and I do things for me and my wife and our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren. Oh, tell us again, how many, uh, how many kids and how many grandkids? I have, we have 15 grandchildren and two great-grandchildren. Okay. We have a, a large family. When we go places, we all go in a pack. We bring our party with us. Ooh, you know, we got we got thirty people. We got thirty people easy when we come. Right. You know, yeah. we go with thirty. That's, that's, that's just you, you, your kids, me, my kids. kids. I, mean, I got three. You're right. right. Me, my kids, my grandkids. Right. We we bring our party with us. If you don't want a party, um, you know what they used to say. If you don't want a party, take your Okay. I ain't said that, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, but I'm bringing all my equipment with me. But we have a good time. 30 different personalities. If, 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 if you guys get a chance to come out there. Yeah, you know. we'll take the invite. All right, man, I'm, I'm kicking we'll it with take you. We'll take the invite. Also, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a dual invite because yeah. you're welcome here, man. We family now. You know what I'm saying? Any time. Is there any on the farm? You know, our daughter. Our daughter. Our daughter, right now, what they do is they go to uh, farmers market and sell, you mm -hmm. know, uh, vegetables and stuff mm -hmm. like that. You know, it's uh, like I said, it's a, it's a lot of work, but they they love it. Yeah, they're they like Keisha strawberry. Like you don't know who they are, just they like started winning. I know some farmers market. Like you'll go to some markets and you'll see like somebody something that somebody's grown. Somebody's their name is yeah. Yeah. Their name. They, don't work, they, don't they don't do that. They just sit naturally grown without okay. any any. Uh, pesticides and stuff like that. They don't use pesticides and they don't do that. And they're starting a new thing now where they're not even going to till the ground. Don't ask me because they're doing some stuff that old people, you know, like they used to do back in the day. Right. And they're, they're saying, well, they're starting well, that's how nature would be. Right. They're starting the way that you really, where you, where you get the, all the proteins and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, and, the, and, the, uh, and the soil maintains a lot of stuff that's well, 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 If you can see a little kid and they got a strawberry in their hand this big and it's juicy and it's sweet. I ain't talking about plastic taste and I don't know about, you like, man, I can eat like 10 of these right yeah, now. There's so, be a lot of maintenance though, because until, yes. I mean, the seeds is exposed, so that means birds are just, so there's a lot of like scarecrows or- I, don't ask me how they do yeah, it. Be a difficult way. Don't ask me how they do it, but they got it down to a, a art where they're using the, the certain uh, um, worms and certain all kinds of stuff yeah, yeah, that yeah. they're doing. You know, the, like they used to do back in yeah. the day, because the, the way they're doing it now, and that's not a big farm. You know, it's only five acres, but it's large enough for family and right. friends. You know what I mean? Corn and, and stuff like that, because there's a lot of food. And people don't know how much food we throw away. How many weddings happen now? No, no. That's, that's the place you didn't think of that, did you? No. I thought well, it was. You know, one of my jobs that I had was a shelter. I ran a shelter for homeless men mm -hmm. for 14, 15 years, somewhere around okay. there. I've done a lot of stuff for real mm -hmm. six, nine years. But I, I ran a shelter for homeless men, and I found out that we throw a lot of food away. We do. A lot of food yeah. away for real. Americans waste more food than anybody else. And country. we do. Because everybody else in another country, they use, they tell you about a lot. It's not, scarce. More scarce. Use more everything. Too. Yeah, it's yeah. More yeah. scarce. We, Chicken. As, <coughs> a group, uh, as a group of people, we have to learn to use all the things. And we don't have to be afraid of like somebody say, oh, you, you know how to bait? No, I, I did it one time. Yeah, because you did it with somebody that didn't know what they were doing. Question, before we get out of here, uh -huh. what's the difference between vaping and hookah? I don't know the difference. The difference between the two is because one is using fire and you're burning it up. I call them burners. That's what hookah is? I have burners. Yeah. No, that's what a hookah is, a burner. Yeah. I have our burners, what I call burners, right. and then I have vapors. Okay. 
vapor is you save the stuff and you'll be able to do something with it later. Right. Who goes, once it's gone, it's gone. Right. It's gone. Like and I tell gone. people, once you learn how to vape, I guarantee you, yes, you'll blaze sometimes. Yes, you'll hookah sometimes. And that's the hookah right stuff. there, right? That's this, is the, this is the 360 hookah. And what this does is the same thing as all the rest of them. But that you need fire for that, right? You need fire for this. Get you some of this flour, you put it on the top of here. Put your hookah in there. Tell John. That's a goddamn shame. That was in his pocket. <laughs> I'm always ready. <laughs> I'm always ready. I used to work in bars, man. I was always in bars. We always had the light lady cigarettes, so you kept a lighter in your pocket. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's pulling. Yeah, it pulls it down. I'm not going first, Sean. Huh? Yes, you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> you pull it down like that. Why oh, not? Like this. Oh, that makes it come out. What you doing? Get out of here. When I do stuff like this, my my uh, my family is not in my room. My children are my Exactly. Get your ass out of here. Get your ass out of here. Get your ass out of here. I mean, you gotta kind of be like that, because I can see that happening the other way. We fucked over glass on here. <laughs> I'll be cracking. <laughs> Got my shit leaking. Then you just flip it up, just like this again. Oh, right. And here we go. Chug, 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 Peer pressure, nobody over there with your own base. I'm on base. I turned this upside down right here because I don't want the same water smoke that he had. So you can just flip that upside down. I get, I get brand new vapors. That's about it, huh? <laughs> Paul, you supposed to let it get in there first. <laughs> you see how that? No, you see it coming out? What's about it? That didn't even sound right. All everybody in black gave up this god here on the floor. I'm blackish. <laughs> right. Again, still with two saints as happy as they're here. <laughs> Paul, you missing the party, dog. Go ahead and get that. that trailer. Trailer. <laughs> All these <stuff. laughs> But anyway, the difference between bacon and and, and uh, a hookah is the fact that you're using fire with a vapor you don't use, you don't have to use fire. Right. Uh, usually uh, our ions come with a grinder. We have a, a big box grinder or we have one of these little grinders like this. I always tell people if you got stems and sticks, you, and go this will work. Yeah. But the big box grinder that I have, it will grind up your sticks, your stems and everything. It looks like a Paul, y'all saw that. That looked like a mailbox, a little bitty mailbox, a yeah. little grinder. Those things were perfect for grinding up your stems and your sticks and stuff like that. Oh my know? God. But um, I tell people if you want to really get the best out of any herbs that you're using or flowers that you're using, you honestly want to get yourself a good vapor. Blazing, I blaze, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get my hemp and roll me up some, you know. 
I'll give me a package because, like I said, I got a friend of mine that we got a, a good deal on it. Shine, Shine on it. The Botanical is one of the best hemp places that you can get. They got Shine good. on Botanical. Yes. Is he, he local? That's a local dude? They're out of Johnstown, Ohio. Okay. But what happened was when my, when I first started doing this, I, I, I started going to a lot of conventions, hemp conventions, mm. weed conventions, and stuff like that. And that's how I found uh, some of the people I did. But then shortly after that, that's when the, the pandemic came and you know they weren't doing all these conventions and stuff uh, that, that you would see. And so that's how I actually got into learning more, learning about CBD and hemp and stuff like that, and learning how to make it wax and oil and sugars and stuff like that because mm -hmm. those are all different things that people use when they want to like people like most of us we blaze so we, we we use herbs but a lot of times what people use is wax and sugars and stuff like that which is more high potency what they do is they, they well, squeeze all the oils what would you do with the wax with with the wax yeah. you, there's devices that you use waxes in Oh, and you kind of like melt the wax down? Yeah, or the yeah, wax down. Or something like that. And he, to make it? I mean, when you, when you, the wax, to put heat on there, right? To make it? To melt it, or to make it? To use To make it, you would use, you use heat. Yeah. To make it, you use heat and pressure to make wax or sugar. And what they do is they have a press, and they press it, you know, press all of them. Because, like I told you before, flour is an oil-based plant. Right. And what they do is they press all the oil out of it. And then they call that wax. Oh, okay. And when it rolls down the thing, they use a device. What is that? What is that? Paul, if you look in that, that box over there, there's a device or two that, that you can use wax with, you can use flowers with. The, the, the uh, what did you ask about earlier, uh, Juan? You asked about the curate. The curate will use wax, they use flowers, it'll use, uh, that's one of the ones I use all the time. This one right here. Mm -hmm. It'll use oil. This one right here is the oil that I made out of some hemp. Uh, you can use wax in it. Uh, I got to press, and sometimes I'll press with a little wax. And, and uh, I tell people that if you're in a lot of pain, you got to know what to use in order to get rid of that pain. Because a lot of flour has a lot of different anti-oxidants. The natural shit. Right, the natural yeah. stuff that'll take, the, you know, the pain away from you. If you vape some of it and, and do stuff like that, that stuff go away real fast. A lot faster than if you took one of those pills and I'm just like, not into all that. Yeah, you know, I'm, man, this has been a friggin' blast. Yeah, man. man. We appreciate we you. We appreciate you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And we appreciate. expect to see you again with more of the best trinkets of the game. I will be back again. So, uh, yeah. absolutely. So, uh, the store is www.smvc.store. Right. Go on, go on there. He got his products out and everything for you. Um, oh. How else can they get in touch with you? Area code 614. 614. Two, three. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. two, two. Area code 614. Five. What's my name? All right. Six one four. Son. Five seven one eight seven zero nine. Let's do it again. Six one four five seven one five seven five seven. Okay. Five seven nine. Five seven one eight seven zero nine. Eight seven zero nine. Yes. All right. Give it back. Wait. Six one four. Six one four. Five seven one. Five seven one. Three two five nine. Eight. Seven, oh, oh. Zero nine. Eight seven zero. Six one four. Five nine. Five, nine. Get in touch. Five seven right. one. Five seven. Six one four. Five seven one. Eight nine. Eight seven eight zero seven, nine. Eight seven zero nine. Eight seven zero nine. Yeah, man. Check him out. Yeah. Got Get in touch. He got all the stuff that, that y'all might not be hip hip to. Go in there and check them out. Go check us out. Let us come and uh, do a party for you. You know, if you don't mm -hmm. want to buy it, let us come and do a party for you. We'll uh, give you a good price on it. Uh, us coming in, bringing in hookahs or whatever you possibly need to 
make your uh, party enjoyable. All right, we really appreciate it. We thank you, Linnell. And this has, like we said, anytime when you're ready. But we ain't gonna wait on you to be ready. We're gonna bring you back on our home. When you, when you call me, I'll be ready as long as I'm not out at the farm. Like I told y'all, we, you know, we, we might have to come out to the farm, man. I'm roast. Roast yeah. Roasted yeah. chicken. I'm, I'm a slow, slow roast. Chicken. I'm a slow brother. I ain't just gonna bite myself or nothing, but. You got to say, you got to go, that's my man. man. And, bring in, and bring that peach wine and that blackberry, and it's a, it, it got to be a party, man. It's, it's a, it, it'll, you'll have a good time. That be you'll be nice. relaxed. It's a, it's a good, uh, good atmosphere, yeah. you know. I, and I'm going to tell you, you guys have a real good atmosphere. I, I felt the vibes when I was watching y'all. I, I think y'all crazy, and I like it. I really like it. We appreciate Paul. Thank you very much. Ooh, I don't know where your brush is, but you might want to bring it the next time because the first time I saw you, you yeah, brush, 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 brush. Well, I God yeah, damn yeah, I like that. Y'all yeah, yeah, was real. Y'all you know, some real brothers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, you know, a lot of times you get brothers that aren't real. Y'all real straight up brothers for real. Thank you, man. I really appreciate well, that, it. That means a lot. Awesome. We I appreciate it. Well, we don't give each other enough time. Or we yeah. don't give each other this, you know, the first time some brothers was ever interested in what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, I never get people that are really, you know, I get people that look down on me and those are the same ones that are mad because I won't sit next to them. Word. And none of that here. Yeah, it's all love. All love. All love. All love. We appreciate you. Much love. Paul. And this has been the Raw Way Show Podcast episode 32. 32 in the books. To the right of me is my master, Sister Rome. Number two of the Tres Amigos. Yep, G I D D Y. Um, and to the left, the oddly colored guy. The oddly colored guy. uniform. Just start wearing black, and then we're going to switch to white. Y'all yeah, will. Yeah, will. Paul Tres Clark. Cash at me. We feel sorry for you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> All the black shirts you get. And behind the scenes, without him, there's no us. That's Thank right. The ghost. Thank you, sir. Technical guy. We appreciate you, my guy. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> you know, we out of here. Broadway Podcast Show. The Broadway Podcast Thank Show. You. Thank you. Thank you.